Hello friends, uh, this is Kishan and in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about the Java collection framework. Now as per the Wikipedia, Wikipedia says uh, what is collection framework. Uh, let's see over here. The Java collection framework uh, or JCF is a set of classes and interfaces that implements commonly reusable collection data structures. Although referred to as a framework, it works in a manner of a library. The JCF provides both interfaces that define various collections and classes that implement them. So that's the definition I took from the Wikipedia. Now, may I ask you a few questions, what is then collection? We can define a collection is a group of individual objects represent as a single unit. Java provides collection framework which defines several classes and interfaces to represent a group of objects as a single unit. Right? The collection interfaces like uh, collection and map uh, are basically two main root interfaces of the collection classes. Now, why need collection framework? Right? So, before collection framework, was introduced i'm talking about before jdk 1.2 the standard method methods for grouping java objects were array vector and hash table all three of these collections had no common interfaces or interface uh, none of the collection like uh, array vector and hash table implements a standard member access interface so it was very difficult to programmers to write algorithm that can basically work on all kind of collections now another problem or another drawback is that uh, most of the most of the vector methods are final so we cannot extend vector class to implement the similar kind of collection right so java developers decided to come up with a common interface to deal with these problems and uh, introduced a uh, collection framework they introduced collection in jdk 1.2 and changed the legacy vector and hash table to conform to the collection framework now next question in this series we have what are the advantages of collection framework so here i have listed few advantages uh, which are provided by the uh, collection framework let's go through the one by one first advantage consistent api right the API has basic set of uh, interfaces like uh, collection, set, list, map, all those uh, classes like uh, uh, which implements these interfaces have com some common set of methods and that's the advantage. That's what uh, we can say consistent API. Now second advantage of collection framework increases program speed quality, right? So when we talk about the uh, before that uh, reducing programming effort sorry that so second advantage reduces redu reduces programming effort right so the programmer need not to worry about design of collection rather he or she can focus on its best use in his program right that's the second advantage uh, third advantage we have uh, increases program speed and quality so basically this is related to the performance uh, uh, this basically uh, collection framework basically increases performance by providing high performance implementation of useful data structure and algorithm when we talk about the uh, i mean high performance then collections have uh, much better performance compared to uh, older vector and hash table classes uh, with the elimination of synchronization overheads right now in this series, uh, next advantage I would like to talk about supports, uh, I mean uh, collection framework support, uh, uh, supporting basically polymorphic algorithm, right. So when we talk about the supporting polymorphic algorithm uh, like uh, collection framework provides you a uh, kind of functionality, kind of sorting, shuffling, reversing, binary search, extra. These are the basically algorithm provided uh, to work with the different data type. So that's the basically point says uh, support uh, polymorphic algorithm. Now next uh, advantage uh, collection framework also supports you to uh, 
perform kind of algebraic calculation right like uh, uh, such as finding subsets intersections unions right uh, java you know uh, eight onwards we have a stream api which will help you to calculate kind of uh, aggregate functions like uh, sum of uh, i mean some some average uh, group by etc right so these are the basically uh, algebraic calculations which is uh, supported by the collection framework now next support we have a thread safety right when synchronization is required a wrapper implementation are provided for temporarily synchronizing existing collection objects now next advantage immutability when immutability is required right wrapper implementation are provided for making a collection immutable so in collection uh, uh, framework you have a collections uh, utility class which provides you a various uh, uh, static method uh, which will help you to make uh, existing uh, collection classes immutable now last but not the least uh, we have a uh, extensibility so interfaces and abstract classes uh, provide an excellent uh, starting point for adding functionality and features to create a specialized collection uh, object collections right so that also provides you to extend uh, some existing classes to create your own custom uh, collection classes right so that's all point i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial in next video tutorial we'll see i mean uh, we'll talk about the all collection family itself uh, with the pictorial example so guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial